this group of these stacked in the kitchen. Now, I see we have a distinguished guest here, and I don't know whether I should be leaking this information. Uh, uh, Margie Lou, who's uh, one of the people on our pictures on the, on the website as well, she might be taking this information back home, I don't know, we'll have to get her to sign for that. But that being said, we try to keep the shavings in here. But to give an, an example here, and maybe Ed, you can grab a hold of this while I'm dumping the, the shavings in the walk here. This is from the birds of Top Shelf Batons. Okay. Yeah. Leave the shavings in there. I'm trying. <laughs> this guy here, uh, the reason we have brought this guy along here, so you see even on the in the schematic it says he's a cockerel. He's a cock, and this is the guy that wanted the Ohio National. We wouldn't have taken it, we didn't take in there. He didn't get to, he didn't get to the uh, uh, kosher, to the Colwyn show, because anything we take to Colwyn, we know we're going to sell. So even as a cockerel, he never got there. He just got washed at home. But all these other birds might have, got, might have got there. But the reason we take this guy, besides him being a splendid example of a, of a buff cockerel, this guy, if you look at him, his undercolor is just incredible. Now, undercolor, as you'll read in the article, becomes crucial for a buff when it comes to, to any kind of uh, breeding. And you, therefore, you don't want something too dark, but you don't want something too light. You can't have a blotchy bird. But if you look at these, uh, these birds here, the evenness of color, we've had numerous cockerels. As a matter of fact, there might even be still a few extras in. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Top shelf fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, this guy here, he's the father of these guys, and we will be taking him back in the line breeding. He'll be he'll be breeding to his daughters. And these two guys here, uh, they're very similar. We're going to we're going to uh, wash these one of these guys here, but you'll start to see here the color becomes a factor. Now, both the undercolor are decent at these birds, but we, we probably like the look of one or two birds a little bit more. But even if this guy, and he's just starting to come in as feather, is not ideal yet because he's still coming in at feather here, we would probably never show this bird again, but he'll be a breeder with us for quite a while. We hope he'll be with us for yes. quite a while.